Wait, is it working? It is working. Okay, so how wide does it go? Oh, wow! <laughs> I mean, look at that! Oh, that is wide. Wait, it's tracking my face! It is tracking my face. Okay, time to check this lens out. I'm Aleloy, this is Ale Suggest. Let's get this video started. Okay, so let's analyze the options that you have if you wanna get a decent wide lens on a Fuji X mount. So you have the Fuji 10 to 24 millimeters, which is gonna be around the affordable price of 900 bucks. Or you may as well consider the 8 to 16 millimeters, which will set you back around at the same price of a right kidney sold on a black market. Or of course you could go the third party way and you could get the 7 Artisans 12 millimeters for around uh, 170 bucks. Or the Sammy Young 12 millimeters and you would pay that one around 300 pounds. Or instead you could go the Laowa 9 millimeter that is f2.8. But hey, those are all manual focus lenses and they don't even have image stabilization. So hey, here's my quirk for your very cheap wide lens. So you may be familiar with the wide lens adapters, which were just adapters that will screw into the thread of your lens and it will just increase the field of view really and will make it wider. Well, there were several advantages to these, uh, were pretty common into the DSLR world. So when cameras were bigger, lenses were bigger as well. In fact, these adapters were pretty big. You will mount them again on the lens, but those were pretty heavy as well as they were pretty bulky and they were distorting the image as well as they were make a big circle around your image. But because of the smartphone and compact cameras technology always getting better and better, we now have some options that may intrigue you for your Fuji camera. So I'm talking about the Ulanzi VL1. Now this beautiful piece of gear is made out of metal it has been originally thought for the Sony ZV-1, which is a vlogging camera, which had a too narrow field of view. So they come up with a couple of solutions to just make the field of view wider. And because it has been designed for compact cameras, I am not worried about installing this on my Fuji camera. It is a 52 mm thread and it comes with an adapter that you will install into your Sony camera which will have glue on it and will stick on the lens, but you don't really need that because your kit lens or your lovely Fuji camera will have 52 millimeters thread as well. So just screw this in. And you're good to go. Now this lens doesn't look that bad at all. I mean, look at this. Let's put all these lids away. It's almost seamless with your Fuji lens. So if my math is correct, it should transform your Fuji kit lens, which is 15 to 45 millimeters 3.5 into a 11.25 millimeters still f3.5 and with autofocus. And don't quote me on that, but it looks like the image stabilization of the lens still work well too. I would expect the image stabilization to work slightly worse because of the added weight at the top of the lens, but still better than nothing, right? So let's try the Ulanzi VL1 wide lens adapter in action. I'm just gonna play you a clip without the Ulanzi lens, just the 15 to 45 millimeters kit lens that comes with your Fuji. And then I'm gonna play you a clip with the Ulanzi installed on it. So you will see the difference in wider view because obviously I will not move the tripod. So this is how it looks just with the kit lens. And this is instead how it looks with the Ulanzi VL1 wide lens adapter. Well, as you can see, the image is pretty sharp 
and I will be absolutely confident to use this footage right away. In fact, I'm just gonna start using this lens all the time. I cannot see any image distortion on the sides. I cannot see too much vignetting, just a very, very little bit. The autofocus still works amazingly. It is still tracking my face. Face and eye track perfectly fine. So basically, if you are anyone like me that just need the field of view a little bit wider, you're not wanting the best quality in the world, but still you can't quite afford 900 pounds for an autofocus wide lens. I mean, this is your option out there. It will only cost you 50 quid. I mean, it's decent and for the money, you cannot really go wrong. There is another similar option out there, which is the Zomi Ultra Slim 52 mm It's another lens adapter that you will screw into your lens. It's exactly the same as the Ulan ZVL1. The problem with that is that although the Zomi is much slimmer, and much lighter too. It is exactly what I would want from an adapter like that. But the problem with that is that from every review that I checked online, the image was a lot softer on the edges of the frame, as well as there were a lot of distortion. I thought this solution is much sharper and better image quality. So I think this is the way to go, but please, take my opinion with a pinch of salt because I never tried personally the Zomi. I also trust Ulanze because they are not new when it comes to compact gear. Their lenses for smartphone are amazing and I think this is exactly the same concept. It's not that different from a lens that you would just attach or you used to attach to your smartphones where they were selling only with one lens. Obviously now that we have smartphones with four lenses, nobody wants one of those. Wait, but what if you don't have the kit lens? What if you don't have the 15 to 45 millimeters kit lens that comes with the Fuji? Well, then you have several options. I've scratched my head and looked for every possible solution for wide lenses. And really, obviously, the first option that would come to my mind is the 7 Artisans or TT Artisans 12 millimeters, which you can still find online secondhand for around 90 bucks. And then, of course, you will have the adapters way. So you can just adapt basically any lenses you can find around. Obviously, the most famous adapter out there is the Fringer adapter or the Fringer adapter, but that is really expensive. I mean, the cheapest I could find online was around 340 bucks. I mean, that is really expensive, especially considering that from all the videos that I could find online, the autofocus never really seemed right to me, especially considering the price of the adapter. So for me, I would just save up and just get one of those budget adapters that I will link you into the comment box. These are around 50 to 60 bucks. And then I would just throw the rest of my budget into a Canon 10 to 18 millimeters wide angle lens STM. I mean, it would just make sense for me to do that because still you will have some sort of autofocus. If you're lucky enough with the adapter, you may even have the image stabilizer and it is a great lens. I must admit though that I had terrible experiences with adapters so far with Fuji. I've tried the Veltrox Speed Booster. I tried to adapt full frame Canon lenses to it but I had every sort of issues sometimes the camera will freeze or sometimes I wouldn't be able to autofocus at all I mean it wasn't a pleasant experience at all so I would say stick with native lenses if you can if you cannot I mean this U lens solution it is really mind-blowing for the price Hey, sorry to interrupt the video like that, but just to let you know that soon I will receive the Fringer and the budget adapter that I was mentioning in the video earlier on. So, I don't know, maybe you're interested in a comparison. Ulanzi VL1 with something like a, a Canon 10 to 18 millimeters. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of content, man, maybe you know what to do. And also, I'm using the Ulanzi VL1 right now. So, if you like what you see, just let me know in the comments maybe. And Back to the video. And here it is, the perfect case for your new Ulanzi lens, also made by Ulanzi. This is actually not something that comes with it. I have to buy this separately. I actually bought this for another reason. So I'm gonna link it below this. It's just perfect for your Ulanzi lens adapter. It just goes inside. Just close it, fit it in. Good to go. 
So if you find this content useful, please press gently that like button. Don't smash it, I will need it still. Subscribe below just to stay in touch and also to not miss out any of these life hacks. And if you decide to buy this lens, please use the links below. You will pay exactly the same, but I will earn just a very little commission out of it and this will help the channel a lot. I'm Ale Loi, this is Ale Suggests Audio and Video Suggestions for the Creative Minds and I will see you here very soon.